Hello and welcome to today's video. And uh, today we have the continuation of Arsenal Pro against Baton. It was the best out of three, as I ex as I um, was told by Baton himself. So um, here we are again for the second game. And if Baton wins this as well, then he is going to move on to the next round. Because this is still a tournament of Atom, I think. At least uh, the host is Atom. You might know him, if you're Russian, and even if not, then you still might know him. But um, let's see how this works out. This is um, uh, this is still a village, a village start with with uh, thousands of resources, basically 5k for normal games. But this time it's Saxony, and it looks like um, from Baton's side there's going to be the same thing as last time, perhaps. So this time there's no protective seas, there's only four lakes in the middle. Artem Pro appears to go for the knights. I know they're called raiders, but I'd like to call them knights because they look like knights. Artem Pro actually goes for more stables right off the bat, while Spaten goes for a third town hall, which means Spaten is going to go for an economic strategy. Which is fair enough, it's a pretty good idea. But you have to pull it off correctly, because if you go economic against the rushing enemy, you might find yourself under quite a pickle. And as always, I have to check about the recording. It's on. So we move on. The diplomatic center is standing. Baton goes for infantrymen and archers. Archers are very important in this game mode without capture because without archers you don't have the best chance on destroying the enemy completely or even sabotaging him. It looks like Artem Pro is trying to make uh, is trying to prank Baton by making some round shears. Either that or he actually pressed the wrong button. Atom Pro appears to have a, a little bit of a food problem right up, right away. Baton doesn't. Now, having a, a, a one second famine isn't exactly bad. One, your one unit might die. That's not too bad, to be honest. That's, that doesn't really matter in a big engagement. What does matter though is, is that you're is that when you're below 500 food, the recruitment is uh, is stopped automatically. You won't be able to recruit any units that are on the, on the infinite row, like the like the knight here. He would just go to the end of his line and stop, and stop. He wouldn't come out of his stable. He won't be produced. So as long as you're below 500 food, no units will be made, which is why it's important that you stay above 500 food or have an economy that's rapidly going over 500 food again if you sell food. Baton has a lot of food, he doesn't have to worry about any of this. And he is going for economy, so that's it's his way of playing. He might be on a little bit of a disadvantage in terms of melee fight power, because Atom Pro already now has a lot of knights. Let's see, this is... Well, let's see. He has 22 knights against Baton's 10 dragoons. If we are lucky again, Baton might have more upgrades than Atom Pro. 2-2 two, two versus... Ooh, 3-4. That's a bit nasty, but... Uh, with Baton's economy, he should easily be able to make that up again. See, now he's at 3-3. Three, three. He's still going on the offensive now, which is fair enough. Putting a bit of pressure on Atom Pro, telling him that you are there, basically. That you are there and you're you are there to fight. Good idea, good idea. But there is a lot of Artem Pro forces going around. In a similar attempt as we've seen in the last game. Last game it didn't go it didn't go so well if you've seen the video. But uh, this time, this time it might be very efficient because Baton's main army is way far, way far away. The good thing for Baton is that Artem Pro gave his gave his plan away by positioning his his knights just so he can see where his units are. But considering Artem Pro actually goes around this 
Never mind, he is actually going to get or let ba let Baton prepare for this. Rather gentlemanly way of fighting, but not exactly efficient for him. Though he has the numerical and potentially the quality superiority in this battle. 5-5 five, five versus 4-5. Actually Baton has the quality superiority, but uh, the numbers of Atom Pro are way higher, considering he also has a lot of cavalry here. This might be a base swap to be honest. Baton goes in with peasants, which might save his day here. No, the cavalry is too hard. The cavalry is way too strong for that engagement. Let's see in Archimpo's base. The cavalry is completely trumping Baton. Uh, that's a, a thing that I would have almost expected. The, the knights are very good against pikes, especially when upgraded like this. They almost take no pike damage and they deal a lot of damage to pikes. So, um, best out of three, don't forget, we'll see another video of this. But until then, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the game, or the battle, and until then, bye bye.